Okay. This Vladimir Putin situation. <laughs> he, he he's 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 testing the limits. He's testing the limits, and um, the stock market. That's another reason why the stock market has been kind of in a negative tailspin. Everybody's on. They had they had this cartoon on TikTok. I don't know if you saw it. But there was like Vladimir Putin versus the world. And it was like, there was one of these old Simpson cartoons where it was like, they had Vladimir Putin in the Simpsons before with like a character. And they like he, he pulled out a, a knife and everybody got scared. Then he like threw the knife at the wall. Then he like pulled out a lighter. Everybody got scared and he lit a cigarette. He pulled out a gun. Everybody got scared. Then he like shot the light. So it's like, they trying to say like he's like bluffing. But every time he bluffs, like he just makes the whole world just like, nervous and he just like ruins the world for a minute and then he's like nah i'm just playing and we ain't gonna do it like that we just going you know let's talk it out different things of that nature so vladimir Putin, man this guy's been president for like 20 years rules with an iron fist um you know the funny you know the crazy thing and i don't want to misspeak because i'm not a hundred percent sure on this but he's not really there's a president of russia like there's, there's actually a like there's two ruling there's two ruling people in russia okay. And I, I actually just got educated on this because I saw the thing on 60 Minutes, but he, I forgot what his official title is. If he's the president, there's a prime minister. If he's the prime minister, there's a president. There's actually somebody that's actually voted and he just has no power and <laughs> nobody mean, knows who he I is. Got his, I'm getting his official title. And right uh, Vladimir Putin has been in power for like 20 years and he, he just, there's no stopping him. So as Troy does the research on this, Ian. President, he's the president of Russia. But who's somebody else? So I'm gonna get- Look at, look at the other person. Gotcha. Um, what, what is the deal with this Ukraine-Russia situation? How serious is it? And how big of a threat is Vladimir Putin? Um, I, it's incredibly serious for those who put it. So this topic, I'm really gonna skate around. So um, <laughs> really quick. Um, he's not so, he's a- formidable opponent for sure he is the manifestation of what 50 cent would be if he was president of the united states so when you have a certain amount of power you have to then wield it and then he's also fighting for control and you know of course kgb bit background and very intelligent on top of that and then when you have that paired with weak leadership i don't have anything against biden but when he's saying hey i'll sit down with putin if you don't really have much leverage because we technically don't want to go to war because even on a political stage we are just barely recovering like we just got over the COVID cold financially right if we go to war that would drain all our resources and the biggest thing i always learn you cannot go to war with someone who doesn't care about dying or losing russia has nothing to lose so if it's equal destruction that would be a victory for him. We do have to keep our eyes on what happens with Ukraine because if he slowly begins to build some territories, my biggest fear for you, the United States, I always said, but I'll say it again, Russia, China, team up, going to Latin America, that would be the third of the big three. That'd be Chris Bosch, right? And they take over America. Very possible. This is not conspiracy theory for those of you who want to say it. But if you look strategically what has been happening in China, and for those who travel, you can start to see the influence in China and Africa and all throughout the islands. They're strategically playing chess to then take over. Um, Got to get our affairs in order. But America has rested on our laurels for so long. We, we've neglected our people for so long. Education has been bad for so long. We've dumbed down our population, given them bad food, bad water, bad airways. So if you have a weak population, like what do you think is going to happen? Someone is going to try and take over the territory. So let me let, let me just say this. Uh, so okay. You want me to just give you the thing first? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Right. So Vladimir Vladimir Putin, his he, he is the president of Russia, mm -hmm. and he's appointed by a popular vote. It's a vote, but he's not the head of the government. The head of the government is actually the prime minister. Mm -hmm. The prime minister's name I'm probably gonna mispronounce okay. his name. Go for it. Mikhail Mishusan, Hussein. Uh, Ms. Houston? Mikhail Ms. Houston. So he's the prime, this, that, he's the prime minister. Yeah. He, he's ahead of the government. Yeah. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So there's a cabinet um, who the leader of the cabinet is the prime minister. That's Vladimir. No. No, no, that's, that's Ms. Houston. That's Ms. Houston. Yeah. Who appoints the prime minister? 
The president. The president. Yeah. So, but the, 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 so this is the illest part. <laughs> so, prior to being the president, he was the prime minister. He's done both roles, back and forth, back and forth. And now he's the president and has assigned the prime minister. Yes. So it's an interest. So I just found that out recently where <laughs> he, he technically, technically, he's not the head of the government. He's the head of state, which is a little confusing to America because our head of state is the president, president. who's also the head of the government. But he is technically not the head of the government. He is the head of the state. But obviously, he's the pointer. He's the appointer of the head of the government, which makes him the head of the government. Right. And if he doesn't agree with what he says, then he'll find a new prime minister. Yes. As my dad would say, uh, he who has the goal makes the rules. Going back to my Ozark reference, Kamala is Ruth. Biden is Marty. When you have to go to Mexico and see the family, it's about who is willing to go to war. And for those of you who grew up in the environment, a lot of it comes down to heart, money, and firepower. Who has more? That's it. And if you're not willing to go to war with someone who is crazy, and that's the environment. And for those of you who have, if you're involved in boxing, MMA, anyone who grew up in those harsh, real cold environments, and we saw when Connor fought could be like, he was on top of Connor saying, like, talk to me like that now. He wanted to kill Connor. Yeah, he could have killed him. And speaking of Khabib, shout out to Khabib. Russia. Um, he's not from not Russia. Russia. No, not Russia. He's from Uzbekistan, I believe. Is the country? Okay. I don't want to mess the country up. Can Did he train in Russia? I got you. I got you. Oh, I just let me speak. So if this is interesting. You, let's get the exact title of his country. But his country is under the, the control of Russia. Got you. Okay. So that's what people don't fully understand either, is that during the Soviet Union, or like all of those countries was under the Russian, Russian, huh? He's Russian. But look, no, but the I country know the country. That, I'm just saying his nationality is Russian. But I get the country. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. His nationality is really not Russian because he's not from Russia. Same way we're technically it's, not. It's American, like it's right. like saying Puerto Rican. Their nationality yeah. is American. Yeah. Because they're under they're in American territory. Mm-hmm. So he's his country is a country. But they're they're not independent. They're under the the uh, Russian flag. So during the days of the Soviet Union, there was all of those countries um, in Eastern Europe was all under the the Soviet Union flag. Then when that broke apart, a lot of people thought that every country got its independence in Russia. But that's not true. There's still there's still countries that are not totally independent. This goes back to the Ukraine conversation. Because Ukraine is an independent country, but it was once part of the Soviet Union. So now, by their aggression against Ukraine, it's always been a certain level of aggression because they still kind of look at it like they're still under the Russian flag, even though they're Ukraine. Uh, it those of you in the black market, you know if you take over one territory and then you, now you have those soldiers underneath you. Republic. Yeah, so he's from Dagestan. The Republic of Dagestan. The Republic of Dagestan. Um, and Dagestan is a Republic of Russia. So yeah. it's a very complicated situation it's over there. He's no, he's not right. That's what I'm saying. It's not Russian. I know, it's, it's, I know. They, it's have, a, they have their own culture. Their I, own they religion. do, but they have, they have, he's a Republic inside of a country. But I'm just saying, it's important to know the, the geographic. Yeah, they got, I mean, and, and know the history of it. They, too. Ha- they have their own religion. They have their own culture. That's why he's Muslim. Like yeah, that first, whole, first that UFC whole, Muslim. he, that whole country is just white Muslim, mm-hmm. and it's a different culture than a lot of Russia. So it's very, it's, it's not a lot of times people in, in America aren't fully aware of what's going on in the world, but it's it's important <laughs> to at least have some level of knowledge of what's going on in the world because when we look at stuff, we just say, oh, that's Russia. But Russia is a big country and there's a lot of other yeah. countries that have their own culture, their own, you know, they've been around for hundreds of years. So that's why when you see these conflicts happening, it's like, you know, there's a lot of turmoil in politics that go into play here when we talk about, and that all ties back to the Russia, Ukraine situation as well. Yeah. And, and national, stock national stock. Resource, resources, all that stuff goes into play. Mm-hmm. And on the stock side, for, for those of you who don't know, all ma- major merger and acquisition strategies come from war strategies from countries. 
So this is why we are hammering this point home. Like go study the top five wars, going back to that top five, and see what they did to win. You're going to see a lot of similarities in Apple, Microsoft, Google, because these are effectively government bodies. Like Apple is worth more than some countries. So even going back to, to Microsoft and you can debate whether Bill Gates is good or evil, right? So um, at the time, for those of you who don't know, Netscape was like the first internet browser, amazing access to World Wide Web for those of us who are old enough to remember that that was a thing. Um, Microsoft was an old operating system, was not cool. They had Spyglass, a company that made a browser for them. They licensed it from them. And this is a good point. Always get your money up front. So if you get screwed on the back end, you have something there. So they, they went into a royalty agreement with Spyglass and said for every person that uses Internet Explorer, you're going to get a royalty. Great. They built the thing. What did they do? They made it free in their operating system and scourged the earth. So they screwed Spyglass, put them out of business, tore apart Netscape and became bigger same with the Jamie Dimon saying, hey, we don't like Bitcoin. But the people with the biggest bag are going to adjust and find a way to be pirates of that. If you go study history, you will be able to see the strategy way ahead of time. And that's why for those of you that love crypto and you've been in early, when you see people in the mainstream talk, start talking about it and try to act like they're thought leaders, I understand why you guys get pissed because they're doing this pirate strategy. I get it. Defend your territory at all costs. But if you go study the wars, you will know who the big players are gonna be and who's gonna emerge victorious. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>